All right, it's time to go back to Professor Fig's classroom. Alrighty. Uh, he is below us, I believe. And then the werewolf. You can't Here we are. How inconvenient travel was. Did I stay here all night? Tomes and tribulation. Take the book. Take the book to the professor. All right. Why is you the headmaster here? Serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. I did you tell him while the headmaster was in there? Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Yeah, you don't want to know. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Interesting. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your The studies. death of your George um, was day. very mysterious if, since we wouldn't tell anybody. And potions. There's more to magic than Probability and potions, I haven't done those you yet. Do exceptionally well. Okay. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. All right, uh, where am I heading next? Wait, is, is that Sebastian? Sebastian! Dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of cross ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. All right. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Now he just sent you an owl post requesting to meet her at Lower Hogsfield, a Hamlet. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This hamlet in Lower Hogsfield, hamlets have provided new opportunity for vendors, food flames, side quests, and collectibles. 
As you explore, you remove the fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlet's Dungeons and Bandit Camps, many other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Alright, more defense against the dark art spells. Not, uh, not in the, nothing that I can't do. But what are we going to do today? Um, let's go to her biology class, actually. Because we haven't been to our her biology class yet. I've been to Charms and I have been to Defense Against the Dark Arts, but I haven't been to her biology. Learn a new skill while I can. Rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating. Rebellion. I know I did this before, but how? Protego. Incendio. Levioso. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Accio. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The moth stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Lumos. Here we go. Here, back here. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. More field guy page. Found it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that!
Ooh, more relationships. I shall get in trouble for oh, this. Oh, Casita, right. nice to see you again. Oh, nice to see you again. Thank you for asking. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You might recall that I was trying to cast non-verbally when we met in the common room. Well, I mastered that, and now I've taken to creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I'll see if I, what I, I can do. I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. You got it, Casita. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Okay, so what's this? Accio. Lumos. Leviosa. Incendio. That works. Level 7 now. Black Christina's flying books. Um, I don't have time for that. Um, let's go ahead and... Go to her biology class. What I was planning to do is I got distracted. My bad. I think we're here. Nope, I have to go down some stairs. Man, this school is huge. And we're here. Is she growing pungus onion again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh, mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> Does she do that for every class? Just pull mandrakes out of the roots? New pot. We have to repot the mandrakes each time. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the yeah. mandrake right at ease. That's gonna suck I'm for every about that. every time this you pull a mandrake, sure, the afraid. glass breaks, oh, and you have to use it's Reparo. Splendid work, everyone. 
that's herbology class that's easy now for our next task we'll be planting dittany at our potting hmm. oh never mind there's more like not grass yes professor firstly well done with your mandrake they can be rather difficult to get a grasp of Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they it's, will take time okay. to grow. So like normal plants. All right. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital uh, Dittany, leaves in the medical herbs I use for Whitney. Okay, so this is what I use for my potion. Alrighty. Done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Alrighty. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Oh, hello, Gryffindor. Hello there. No, that's not him. Okay. How do I leave here? Oh, here's the door. Oh, wrong door, I guess. I am confuzzled. That door's locked, that door's locked. I guess up the stairs. I was right. Defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Like some nut grass. Oh. Thank you. Here we are. Hope. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. They'll do the Not rest. cabbage. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Hold tab to and tap to open the tool wheel to assign the chopping cabbages. to keep the gnomes out did save her the denoming but they left her honking daffodils in tatters vicious little bastards aren't they my kind of plants not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs the kind of plants that just have your back in a fight uh, not saying you can't go it alone but well imagine that wasn't a dummy i suppose they'd come in handy i suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse nothing wrong with a bit of backup even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Professor Garlic. <laughs> Your week has 
Yeah. Rocky, form of beauty. I just realized it. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is Wait, a Matthews fantastic here? subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I okay. suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right, we completed herbology class. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn What's next? Okay, um... Uh, let's go meet Onai. To make anything grow, we must first... Oh, actually, let's go to potions class. That goes for plant... I should probably just walk to potions class so we could have got those waypoints. You cereal? Potions classes right down there. Bachelor, the orders or someone from the ministry guarding the school. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look I'm glass. Potions is one of the most professor, and professor Sharp. subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Let's get to it. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Wow. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. 
Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a... Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented Gareth with Weasley. an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We Listen, met in the common room. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Endurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. A well prepared witch or wizard. <sighs> then. Then a chest. What else do I need? Eggs. Revelio. Thanks, right there. Remember, precision is key when brewing. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Let's get to my brewing station. Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Unblock recipes as a purchase station. Ingredients will be purchased in select shops. Ingredients may also be grown. Brewing time 60 seconds. And now 13 we add the seconds. Okay. Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Alrighty. We completed um, potion class. For one day. Class is dismissed. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of time. And what's next? Let's go ahead and meet with Natty.
get this chest right here. Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Don't you find it chilly in the Okay, how do I exit this building? They say her body. What are you up to now? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what the fuss is about. I need a fountain. Rebellion. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. Maybe later. I'll help you later. Lower Hogs Field. How do I Spare get a there? Moment. I could use your help. Oh, it literally shows me where to go on the map. I'm dumb. Okay, there's a little bit of lag. This is expected. Run in, 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 run in. Rebellion. 
That's a weird looking bridge. That's not... Almost there. Here we are. It is good to see you, my friend. What's going on, Natty? How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time. But I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort Interesting. Of Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear that. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was Poaching thinking operation. that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your Alrighty. Guard. What's going on here? Help the stranger. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. 
Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Oh, we're in a battle now. Interesting. Collection section of field guiding is update new enemy type. Accosted in such a manner, and so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe mm. he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he, he was, was a Slytherin. He was fond of puzzles and enigmas. Enigma, ha, ah, Riddler. Okay. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet. Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Alrighty, let's get started. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl, and we'll see what happens. Oh. Over here. Solve Merlin's trial. My Interesting. Word. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm. This is uncharted territory. 
I am curious about these pyres. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. Curious. The pyres are back where they started. Hmm. Are meant to be lit. All three pyres. Oh, okay. Incendio. One, two. It's a third one. Three. Completed Merlin's trial. Oh, canopy. Nice. Hardly believe it. We accomplished something I think great. We can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve Follow them as you come across them. them, okay? I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I All right. really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Alrighty, Trials of Merlin. What would be next on the agenda today? Different challenges offer different rewards and complete Merlin trial challenges. Okay. What would be next? <laughs>